What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and I can help get men obsessed with you in 90 days. Link is down in the description. I'll get men chasing you. It's all down below. But before that, I want to make this video because I feel like this is something a lot of women struggle with, and I kind of want to give you the idea of how men feel regret, how we feel jealousy from an attraction evolutionary perspective. If you follow me, you know I'm a big fan of evolutionary psychology. That's what I base all my, my work off of. Um, so I kind of want to give you my insight on jealousy and regret. So before we even get started, let me just tell you this. A lot of the times, there's two reasons why you're not getting the results. Three reasons why you're not getting the results you want with the jealousy and regret. One, he just doesn't like you enough. But what I'm about to show you, you can, we can maybe switch that. Two, he's not convinced that he is actually losing you. Just because a woman pulls away does not mean he thinks he lost you. There's so many times you have came back around. There are so many times where um, he'll reach out and you'll bring down your walls. There are so many, you get, you get what I'm saying? A guy can only go off what he is exposed to. He can only go off what he's exposed to. And, up, and if up to this point, if you've shown him that you really like him and that you have came back around, that he made mistakes, there's no punishment to his actions, then um, there's no reason for him to feel like he uh, is losing you. And lastly, you have to understand that you have to follow through on these type of things. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Pulling away isn't enough. You have to actually show a guy um, that you mean business, okay? So jumping right into that. Uh, first off, let me explain what is jealousy. From an evolutionary perspective, what is jealousy when I talk about it with my clients? It's an evolutionary defense mechanism designed to warn us of threats towards advantages and assets we have gained or our feelings towards advantages and assets that others have, okay? Now, what I mean by this is you have to understand Everything when it comes to attraction is assets. You can label anything great as an asset, anything bad as a liability. So the companionship, the love, the feelings, all that romantic shit, those can all be assets if that's what the person's looking for. At the same time, sex, comfort, um, or sex, the blowjobs, the uh, the attention, the ego boost, the the uh, the power dynamic, the dominant dominance he has over you, all that the again the attention you give him, all that stuff, the resources you give him, that the services that all can be assets, okay, and it's when there's a threat to these things that I feel a guy is going to start giving you a reaction. So why is this important? Why is it important to know those, to, to, those things? Um, it's because the, the, the goal of the organism, the evolutionary goal of, of us as an organism is to survive and reproduce if we do, from, from a lizard chimp brain perspective. If we do not survive and we do not reproduce, we fail as a species, okay? From, again, a lizard brain. If you don't want to have kids, I don't, I don't care. This is just what it kind of goes off of, okay? So... Another word for survival I like to use is advantages, okay? So when he has options, when he feels like he can have sex with you, when he feels like he has you, when he has a boost in ego or power, which you feed by not leaving, by sticking around, by letting him come back in, by letting him go hot and cold, by letting him orbit, by... by putting him on a pedestal, not other men. That increases his power, that increases his status. And at the same time, if you're giving it up to him, if you're an option and this guy already has an abundance of resources, time, energy, effort, money, all that kind of stuff, that things that women want, materialistic means. Um, I know when I say that you don't want materialistic means, but you do from an evolutionary perspective, women do. A woman would be a fool to marry a man with no resources because um, that means you and your kid would die from uh, back in the caveman times. So what I'm trying to get at, ladies, is it's really important to stick or, or sorry, it's, it's really important to understand that you sticking around, you hoping, you wanting, you desiring, and you're, all you're wishing 
gives him a lot of these things. And then you wonder why you're in the situation you're in. It's not coincidence. Mother Nature is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. She's a fine ass woman. She knows and smart woman. She knows what she's doing. It, it's not a coincidence that you stick around and you're hopeful with these guys and these guys aren't committing. That is not a coincidence, ladies. There's a reason why you're stuck on this guy for three, four, five, six months, however long, and he's just dragging you along and not committing. He doesn't need to because of what I said earlier. A man can only go off what he's exposed to. If he feels like I can have my cake and eat it too, which again, if you read right here, that is an advantage. If I feel like I can have my cake and eat it too, I'm going to do that. Unless I'm actually looking for a relationship, then what's most advantageous would be to take you off the market. So what am I trying to get at? How do, how do you gain an advantage? Um, and how, how do you make a guy jealous? You give those resources, you either take them away or you give them to the competition. So a lot of women will come to me and say, well, Elliot, he doesn't like me or he doesn't act like he likes me. Um, well, okay, that's fine. I mean, that, that's just one category in making a guy jealous. The other thing you have to do, though, is one of the two things I just said. You either have to pull away and pull away to the point where he feels like you mean it. Pull away to the point where it's like, oh, shit, she is actually done. And then when he comes back, you don't give in. You just have him invest his resources which starts the courtship again. If he does that, if he doesn't, then he doesn't. Move the fuck on. But then the other reason is, or the other option is you have to actually be done with him. And he has to see that because it's more convincing if you do it this way. He has to see that you are dating the competition. All the resources. Okay, you have to understand this triggers regret. As humans, again, when our job is to survive and reproduce, you don't, don't think about feelings anymore. Think of it from a logical perspective. Our job as an organism um, to have survival and reproduction is progression. We have to move forward. We have to escalate. We have to feel like we're accomplishing. If this guy, no matter how he treated you, whether it's good or bad, maybe he took you for granted. If he once had something and now he doesn't, whether that's sex, the attention, you, you, your services, you blowing up his shit, your feelings, but now you're just like, dude, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with you. You're, you're cracked out. It's whatever. And you give those resources in, the, in, in, in that time, that energy, that love, those feelings, that emotion to another man, okay, or at least act like it. He's going to fit. He's going to be at the bottom of the totem pole because you're wanted by this man or fake it, whatever. You're wanted by this man. This man wants you. And then here's his ass, which no one fucking wants. Okay. You have to create that illusion. I, I don't like playing games. And I do believe that you don't dictate your market value. You can increase it by working on yourself, but the market dictates your value. However, you should go in with the prize mentality. Um, you shouldn't be a pick me girl. You shouldn't you shouldn't hope this guy comes around and changes his mind one day because it's the act of doing that which is why he's not changing his mind. But if you act like the prize men, if you have the prize mentality and you're talking to some other dude and he's the one who's getting the assets and the older guy, the previous guy who was the D-bag isn't, well, now he has to invest his resources in another woman go through that whole courtship again and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's not a good, it's not a good way of using his time and resources. So I tell women, you, you have to convince the man that you're actually done and be done. And then on top of that, just live your own life, do your own thing, show him that you're talking to someone else, not even show him, just do it. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Um, and he's going to, even if he doesn't like you, he's still going to feel jealousy because he, at one time, and it's a mentality thing. So the thing at one time, the thing that he thought was his, I know that's possessive, but that's just how it is. One, the thing that he thought it was his, you and what you offered is now someone else's. So he's losing. 
he's backpedaling. He's not going where he's supposed to go. Okay, you're supposed to progress as a. Uh, uh, to survive. So with that being said, ladies, I hope that helped. I could go into this for hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, there's so much concepts. I talk a lot more about attraction in my program. Links down below if you want to get a guy hooked uh, in 90 days, get men obsessed with you, get men wanting your babies and, and have a bunch of damn wedding rings on your fingers. That's all down below. I love you all. Take care and peace.